Healing crystals, skincare routines, knitting a sweater, fitting in jeans. With Katie and Sarah, no need to worry, you're on a lady journey. Patrick's told you that theory, right? That Patrick he, Milligan? Yeah, he, yeah. That when he books the stand, if he ever puts two women on it, then he always gets one canceled. Wow. Right. It's well, never me. No, Please book I've, me. <laughs> yeah, I've never. I haven't. I've only canceled once at the stand. I think it's me. I Is cancel it? all the time. <laughs> You're like, just God, say it's me, I Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> but hilarious. he always replaces me with a woman, which I think is funny. It's like, if she's good enough to replace me, just put us on all the time. Yeah, like, together. The same on the show. show. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it is still the thing of a lot of the time still one woman on the show. Yes. Yes. Or yeah. they do the, the f- which they've been doing since I very first started comedy, which was that they put a female host. Then it's like trickery. Like, oh, right. look, like we're we having it. female stuff all the way through the show. Ah, I've yeah. always thought you can tell a headliner's weak spot, a male headliner's weak spot, by what kind of host or feature they have. So... Oh uh, right! Like the lady, the Paula would always have a female. I'm like, they all do. Yeah, it's like they the vice all president. Do. Yeah, it's like the vice president. Like, oh good, I don't have to do any work following that. That's their mindset. I mean, right? Rich has a female opener. I told him I was like, you have to stop with the young female opener. Like it looks weird. It seems <laughs> odd. Like yeah. I'm not saying don't ever do it. Right. I'm just saying like the constant. He goes, the, yes. the clubs book them. I go because they think that's what you like. Like what yes. you want. Not well, that I, I'm like, I'm totally against helping young women get started. Oh yeah, yeah that's what the show is about. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> pull yourself like, up. It seems weird to always have like. I yeah. agree with that, and also when like male comics uh, seem to be helping out a lot of female comedy. <laughs> yeah, comedians. you're so, like, yes. what's he after? <laughs> I know. I'm like, can you imagine if I was just like, I'm. I've been mentoring a lot of young male comics. <laughs> yes, how yes. weird yeah. that would yeah. look. Peter yeah. Pan. Yeah, yeah. Yes. it's the Lost yes. Boys. Yeah, why um, are my openers always old men? Right. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> that are doing, I had this opener that would, and then one day I just go, you can't open for me anymore. And then now he's back opening for me, but it's because he like, they're relentless. When right. they see where you're working, mm-hmm. they're, mm-hmm. but yes. um, he would do this bit where he would, and listen, I love the guy. I think he's very funny, but he would do a bit um that he would say like basically basically the bit was like gay gay guys aren't really gay they just had to talk to a woman for 15 minutes right and maybe shorter than that i don't know but <laughs> he was like then they just go gay because like listening to a woman talk is so horrible right and that would be his closer and then it would be like me coming on <laughs> yeah hi, I go, hi the- everyone's gay now <laughs> i know i go why would you do that bit knowing like and now here's an hour of a woman right. talking. Well, wild. He, he goes, the- I didn't know. I, he goes, I didn't think about it. I, I, he goes, I didn't know. Right. He's like, it's just a bit. He's probably yes, just thinking right, in that right. aspect. But you're like, it does feel weird that I have to follow that afterwards. Yeah. Right. As the closer. Right. Use <laughs> right. yes. it as the opener. <laughs> Alienate them early. <laughs> yes. Right. 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 Oh, but hilarious. We had that in St. Louis. We had, they got us an opener. And then I think he just referred to females as cum dumpsters. Yes, he oh. did. He and, kept saying it over and over. And he actually... Actually had, he was really nice. He reached out to me and I was like, wow, a fan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but then like, oh, I think I'm like that a little bit. Like where I'm nice in person and then the minute I get on stage, I'm like, listen, you little cum dumpsters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then off stage, you're like, I hope you weren't offended by yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that's me. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. But a woman. When I have a microphone, I can speak my mind. It's fear based. It's right. like, oh, I gotta get laughs. Oh yeah. yeah I'll I've... take anyone down. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Do whatever it takes. Yeah. 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 Look out. Yeah. Cancelled. <laughs> well, um, I know it's funny. We so we had our show last night at Grove, which come to the next one, August twenty eighth. Yes. And we'd love to have you, Bonnie. You will probably oh. cancel, but we'll replace you. <laughs> Thank you. We'll, Thank we'll you. replace you with a man. But we so yeah, we did try to have we tried to do the reverse female we had like one male on the lineup who also canceled everyone canceled (laughs) um but it was such a great show yeah it ended up being really well uh going really well and then yeah it was just like i don't think i've ever produced a show where a hundred percent of the people canceled i think it's queens it's because it's queens that's a big part of it i think because i've been in that position too where you look at the shows you've booked for the night and you're like oh I'll I never make, make that. Yeah. Like right, going to right, Queens and right. then trying to get to another spot. But right. also we have adversity. So that's probably it too. Yeah. We're mm-hmm. climbing up uh, up a mountain. Right. 
And it's so. What did you do? So what happened? Okay, so you you're doing the show, and then as it's going, people are canceling. It was or? like the hour before we had people drop. Two. Yeah, we had drop. two people drop. But and then, then earlier that week, we also had people drop. Yeah. So oh. then we were always the whole from what we sent the club. The flyer was just completely different. It is hilarious. Like an hour before the show, we're like, "Can you post the updated flyer?" <laughs> like, yeah, it doesn't we matter. no longer have John Oliver coming. <laughs> right. It's what can you do? What can you do? But next show, August twenty eighth. So come yeah, out, everybody. Stay Tickets below. I'll cancel. Yeah, <laughs> Bonnie is coming, or is she? We'll be on the poster, but I won't be there. <laughs> It'll be exciting to know. <laughs> it is hilarious when you are the only person on the poster, and you're like, "I'm so sorry." <laughs> That's Oops. a great picture of me, though. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, so, Bonnie, we love you. You're yes, the coolest. You. You're the coolest comedian in the world. I feel like. Oh yes. my god. We uh, have, I think so too. But no one ever agrees with no, me. No, we have we deep do. admiration. Yes. yes. Oh, thank you. You have so many cool things about you. One time I saw you doing hilarious crowd work where you just went to a man, you put your hand out, and you were like, "You want to touch a woman for the first time?" <laughs> I was like, "God, she's cool. How does she do it?" Or I think my favorite one. Was I'm scared they're gonna be like, ew. <laughs> like, he loved it. He loved it. He touched away. Oh, yeah. He like, yeah, he stroked. I was like, oh my god, she's in danger. Sometimes I'll pick up people's hats and stuff or try on their glasses, and Rich is so upset when he sees me doing stuff like that. He's like, they'll sue you. Yeah. Like if you touch them, they can say you hit them. I'm like, I don't think it's gonna. Happen. Like he's so That's scared so of getting sued. Yeah, he's probably like... more likely to be sued of the two of you. I think. Right. right. Yeah. It seems right. like he's currently in a law. At all like times. He's, he's he's just joking, Aww. right? <laughs> That's his. Hobby. Well, I remember seeing him in Practical Joker. My favorite was you had said something. It was cra- on the cruise oh. while it was. While, oh god, there wild time. There's a lady that looked like she was dressed up like the oh, Hulk right. or something, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. and she was drunk a hundred percent of the time. And right. she goes, "That's body shaming," and you're like, "Well, I'm still doing it." <laughs> 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 oh, I don't remember. <laughs> so like, I just love. Well, I'm still body shaming. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're not doing that. Yeah, I won't be right. shamed for my choice right. to body shame right. you. Right. Uh, but, I haven't. I haven't uh, phased that out yet. Sorry. Right. Well, I think you should keep going. Have you always been that way? What? Um, a little body shaming. Quip, quips. <laughs> good quips. Yeah, you're kind um, of like an edgy. You're kind have of. Have you ever edgy. been like? That was really good. Oh, from a sometimes young age. I know yeah. this is crazy. This is so like, I'm sure you guys have felt this way, but no one really talks about it. But I've been on stage where I've been like, I am good. Like, where have you right. ever like had that <laughs> yeah. where you're like strutting? It's like somebody else has taken over for you. And yes. you, you sometimes I'll talk to someone in the audience. I don't know what's coming. I don't know why I'm going to that person. I don't know why I'm answering the way. And it just works, works. out. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, you're like, am I a man? I know. I know. I'm it's so like, powerful. It feels so good. I guess that's what being in the zone is. It's like it feels so good to be in that spot. Like the opposite, of course, is being nervous and not knowing what to say. You right. Know? Yes. It's like that's horrible. But the other part of it is like when you when you lock in, you're like, just I, like there's no channel. Fear or channel. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It just comes. Yes. Uh, yeah. I, I know what you mean. It's like, it feels like divine intervention. Yes. Yeah. yes. That's what I, I think. I know it's so crazy. But like, Which that's sounds when God gets, to say. When I'm bullying someone from the he stage, God comes, comes through God me. God is speaking. Well, I think that's what, that is the feeling that people have when they are like, Preachers and they think oh, that God is right, talking through right, them, but right. it's like that's what you're experiencing. But it's to you know say someone, but to penis make fun of someone, yeah. yes, <laughs> right. right? It's a gift, yeah. Right. And it's not everybody gift. has it. But sometimes words <laughs> you come out that it. I didn't even know I knew, right? Wow. <laughs> then you're like, whoa, wow. Wow. Yeah, like eloquent. Yeah. Right? Yes. Like you're enjoying your own performance. <laughs> yes, because there have been aspects where I'm like, oh my god, this is horrific. <laughs> yes, and so when times when you start heading into the zone of flowing you're like I don't even know who I am right now I'm, just <laughs> right. Quite, I'm excited yeah. yeah right no I think okay this gets this gets granular as they say but when stand-up is the same to me like the the journey of stand-up is the same as the journey of like living in that you're the the real goal is to be vulnerable and to be yourself on stage. Yes. So I used to think the real goal was to have good jokes, but mm. I, I don't think that anymore. I think it's like be, being able to be the real you yes. in the moment. That's the feeling that you're getting when it's like, ah, 
yeah. Oh this my gosh, is so yeah. good. Because it's not really jokes that are coming out. Yes. It's just what you're saying as a person. Right. You're yeah. liking what you're doing and yes. it feels really good. And you're having fun yes, rather right. than being like, because I've noticed that there's times where you've written your set. And you know your jokes are good, but you're just memorizing it. Yes. And you can, you're like, this is so boring. It sounds like plastic. Right. Yes. Right. Hello. <laughs> They're great jokes. The audience isn't really like responding to it. But if you just have half that joke and you're kind of being silly about doing it suddenly yeah. the audience loves everything you're saying yeah they're into the it the energy yes. that you yes. bring of playfulness yes. is such a more abstract concept to master than like animus direction yes. yeah right i'm over right. here i'm over there right yeah. right because i think the audiences are nicer than i have in the past given them credit for right yes. like i used to think it was me against them a little bit and then if you but really they're just they're looking to connect. Mm -hmm. Right. Because the ones that sometimes feel like they give bad mojo and then you do interact, sometimes yes. you can pull, their, then they have fun and you're like, right. oh, they just needed to be seen at this moment. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 right. Yeah. Like sometimes I give the, like I'll, um, instead of fighting with them, I'll be like, I like that you guys are making me work hard or right. whatever. Or and yes, then and it turns them around. Yeah. Like, yeah. Instead of just being completely like you mean. fuck it up yeah. like you I like the customer service vibe of stand up like I'm I'm gonna get you guys there yeah I'm gonna yeah, be right. trust me right we're, go, we're on a journey yes right. we'll right. get you there um so tell us now 20 somethings love it yes oh tell yeah. us tell us about your experience you were doing directing on the show or were you the EP of it no I was co-EP which I, d I still not sure what my job was. <laughs> <laughs> I love all these. I know TV job titles make no sense. Like, well, I'm... it's weird because they hired me because they wanted the show to be funny. So gotcha. in the beginning and the w th through all the casting and everything, I was their like touchstone for, is this going to be funny? And I was no, you know, <laughs> right. I, I was like, yeah. no. well, I kept saying, aren't really, you know, because yes. I mean? well, of the, because what happens is they have good intentions. They're like, we want this to be friends, but real life. Gotcha. So none of the people we're going to cast are actual friends. That's where it starts to break down. Right. You know? yeah. And they're going to have a house of four guys and a house of four uh, women and side by side so okay we're get you know yeah and but they're all be absolutely stunningly beautiful and beautiful people. people are like hilarious yeah I, <laughs> so this was the thing that yeah. i kept saying i was like because the thing was is that they're all they are charming like when you're right. watching their videos I mean, it, like there is a point where it, everyone's saying the same thing. It's like they've all taken a class on how to yeah. do this, um, but they're good looking, char they're likable people for the most part. So it's it's not that, but you're like they to be funny, you have to have a certain outlook in the world. And none of these people have that outlook. Yeah. They're all very positive. Yes. You need a snooky. You need a snooky. Yes. Yeah. Right. Someone right. that doesn't care to be there. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's not about, like we just said, it's not about like somebody having a quippy line. Like, who cares? Yeah. Like, it's about, I don't know. It was, it, anyway, so it was a very big battle to try to get somebody actually funny on yes. the show. Mm. And then there was a guy who did his audition. Um, doing push-ups okay and that's always <laughs> i was like i mean he was like a little guy he wasn't muscular and he was being really funny doing it yeah. he was a comedian and i was like this guy's funny and yeah. it took a a lot to convince them to put one funny person in the show and that but that's why i find a lot of shows these days not super funny because i feel like right. whoever is puppeteering it like doesn't know what's funny. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. the truth is, is that, like, the audience doesn't want funny either in those shows. Right. Like, they like authenticity. They should, it was like a bad concept, I guess. Like, they, it, it turned out that the audience wanted drama. Yes. And uh, yes. the studio wanted good looking. Like, they were always headed in the same direction they've always been headed in. Yeah. Except there was one person being like, it's supposed to be funny. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and then you're like, <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway. If you think about like the funny reality shows, like for me, it comes to mind like 90 Day Fiance, which right, we're all right. watching with uh, a horrific agenda of like looking yes, down right, on right. this man who thinks he's getting married to a Malaysian movie right, star. Right. 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 You need you some know? mental illness. 
Yes, in there. that's right. why I like right. Real Housewives. I also like alcoholism is right. great for oh funniness. Oh my god, give me give me addiction. <laughs> yeah, give me. Well, that's <laughs> what they do. They yeah. just juice them I up. I mean, even on this show, the fridge was packed. I mean, it was just like really. Because I saw yeah. anybody had, who was like, I don't drink, they would just yeah. take them Later. out. Bye. You're not coming to our show. Because I saw they had um, the Love is Blind, they had a lawsuit because they were like just feeding people alcohol. Have oh, you seen they that? They give you seven grapes, they give them like seven grapes and all the, <laughs> the alcohol that they can drink. Amazing. And then, yeah, it's like, That's, well, because they're nervous too. So the first thing they do is they come in the house and then they go to the fridge and the fridge just stop. They're like, yeah. oh, this is my favorite, whatever those like pre made right. vodka drinks are. White and, claws and stuff. Yes, yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. And um, so they just start pounding them because they're nervous. They're on TV. These kids have really never been out of their. Right. They hadn't lived on their own yet, even. At that age, yeah. too, you don't know what your limit is. Yeah. Oh, White Claws will get you. Yeah. I oh. had some of those in the pandemic. I was like, uh, never again. Yeah. That right. I had one, and I'm right. like, I got to lay down on <laughs> right. the grass. <laughs> right. But then there was also, like, a lot of vaping going on, and um, they were say- kept saying they were doing, like, um, what's it called? Something eight? Delta eight. Oh, and I thought that's like it was the legal weed. And I thought it was just like C B D oil. Yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> and then way, way after the show, somebody had Delta Eight and I took a hit and I was like more high than I'd ever been in my whole life. Yeah. And I was like, this is what they were on yeah. when they were doing the show. It's insane. Oh my it's insane that you would put yourself through that. Yeah. yeah. It's scary. <laughs> yes. I always it's, think about that like with I would know how when I smoked weed that I would just be out and then I think of people like Snoop Dogg I'm like how is he operating because yeah. I think his You're just level like, changes he's on another yeah. yeah but even in the beginning like how do you break through that wall of getting <laughs> yeah. right. maneuvering through high you gotta be like, like that was fun I'm yeah, doing right, it again <laughs> right 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 I, yeah I'm just like dead right yeah. like the last thing you want to do is be like having the biggest break of your life totally high like, on right. camera yeah yes. but like, they don't care they didn't seem to mind they yeah. were like Wait, but it's fascinating that people um, I guess they put the get themselves in that position it's just like scary to see some people drink that much or get that much fucked up on TV and you're like oh no I know <laughs> and how I are they not embarrassed all the time and <sighs> it was weird it was like first of all they're in Bikinis right. constantly. A tit is falling out. Drinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. pretty sure there was other things also going on. There was a lot of going to the bathroom pairs and stuff. Right. And um, <laughs> I don't know what the drugs of today are. They were like, yeah. they were like one person had an IV hooked up at one point. No, okay. they were like, <laughs> but um, it was they they were funny that I th- in a way that I thought could have been on TV, it, like. There was once the the one of the this is hilarious the the one of the kids his grandmother died <laughs> already <laughs> love it already, already yeah. <laughs> so they were making this big dinner she's and, probably a young grandma too yeah it, it turns out she's thirty six yeah <laughs> um, no so she so he, um they were having this big they were making a big dinner and they were he was going to leave the show for a little bit to go to the funeral and so they were having this big dinner to sort of honor her and yeah. say goodbye and stuff. And so they're all talking about their families and, you know, as they're making this dinner and they can't work a can opener. Okay. <laughs> so it's like, that well, so my 20... grandmother. Yeah. And then as soon as something doesn't work, they'd be like, production. <laughs> they just break oh the wall. God. That's called production. And you'd have to be like, so somebody, we'd be just in this room with all these TVs that you'd have to be like to the person that's on the floor be like, tell them just to go on about their just try to get it to work. Tell them to try to get it to work. <laughs> and they'd be like, <gasps> Mom's in the background yes, with 20 year old men. Yeah, like, try your best. They can do it. So then you they'd be like, do it. it doesn't work. So they'd be like, Well, my grandmother was most, but it doesn't work. You know? <laughs> and then somebody would bring them another can opener. They could not, literally, like eight can openers came onto that set <laughs> and they couldn't get the can openers to work. And I kept saying, like, this has to go in the show. This, this is, is the funny fun- part. Yes, yes, this is yes. the funny part. And this is what being in your 20s is like is to yes. learn how to do a can yeah. opener and maybe do yes. your laundry. And yes. Intercut with the seriousness of somebody's 
grandparents' yeah. death <laughs> was just like it was, and I'd just be in the control room <laughs> with like there's like a thousand people that work on these shows. I mean, this was a Netflix right. show that had. I mean, I heard it was twenty million dollars. I have no idea. I got. Only one million of that. Right. No. <laughs> and, um, no. So I don't know. How, like, but there were so many people. I didn't know their jobs. But I would just be like, you guy, anyone. People yeah. would just be like, the guy, sound guy. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. You said so. It's like, yeah. does no one else see yeah. that this is fucking crazy? Yeah. Right. I guess. Yeah, people. But they I just d- wanted They're them not to aware. Fuck. They yeah. just. Well, everyone on set knew because everyone had worked in reality before it knew that the whole deal was for them to fuck. Yes. They just Wild. had to get them to fuck. So this can opener thing was just. Yeah. Like, yeah, try playing. your pussy. Like, <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Right. No kidding. I'm not kidding. <laughs> And then one girl went on a she we were they were supposed to get real jobs. Yeah. This was supposed to be real life. Oh and my she God. in um, Austin. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> she was like she said that she, in her interview that she was a waitress or a, a bartender. And I knew it was a lot. I could tell when we were trying to get her the jobs with the way she was talking was like she started right. minimizing it. Do you know what oh I mean? My gosh. Oh yeah, yeah. So she goes to this. I made a drink one time for my parents. Yes, yeah. yes, bridge yes, party. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly. <laughs> so she goes. So I said, "Well, why don't you practice the the drinks with your friends so we get that on camera?" I think that's like kind of cute. Her trying to get yeah. these drinks right, and then the the real job interview with a real bar. The woman asks her to make drinks, and it's so funny. She has. No clue. She's using it like her friend came in, ordered a margarita or something. Her friend was like, <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't put it in the oh show. It's so crazy to me. It was yeah. like, right. why wouldn't you put this in the show? And she didn't. She was like, T- don't put that in the show. Take that out of the show. And I was like, it's really funny. Yeah. yeah. And she was like, I don't care. I don't want that in the show. It's where it's like you're not going to be a bartender after this. I know. So fine. I mean, no, you're fine with having hammered with your in your yes, bikini. This. You're like, yeah. that's great. But like, <laughs> that's I don't care about that. But yeah, but don't put. But people get embarrassed for the weirdest. Yes, right. Things where you're yeah. right, where you're like, but we have you having sex on camera. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, right. Like, with like fine. seven different people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know. Hilarious. What's the career path after that? Like, I was on a reality show, and then you, you do just more. Have an Instagram you store. Do more. You do more reality shows. You get on a, a I think race. she, that particular girl, was good. She yeah. see the thing was is that we kept saying like it's not about drama. It's about you know getting to know these people, and then yeah. it was just about. It's like they didn't. They've they've been taught how to do drama by yes. watching these reality shows yeah. so they know exactly how to do drama and they couldn't not do the drama like it was constant like one time I did this shot with this you know she'd broken up with her boyfriend so we had her in the tub this is so happy <laughs> and like you know the way you like slide down into the tub and <laughs> right. like you know yeah. you're showing like oh she's like really upset or whatever yes. none of this was made up <laughs> but okay so she slides in or whatever then the other cast is like why did she get a solo shot she got a, like a wow. movie shot you know then yeah. the drama begins it's all stuff you can't put on the show it's right. like hilarious yeah, yeah. That's, I, I, you need a reality show about the reality yes, show yes yes God, yeah, there's so it. many crazy things that happened during that like we were all you know there's thousands of fucking people that work on this fucking show and they have to park somewhere and then like literally the second day the place where we were parking somebody found like a skull or something and it was a yes (laughs) it was a baby um um graveyard Oh. That we we're parking Whoa. on. Oh, weird. <laughs> yes. That's, that's got to go in the show. <laughs> yes, it doesn't. No one had mentioned it. I'd like wanted. to read the blurb on that one. 20 year olds discover baby graveyard yeah. Yeah. this week. I mean, this was all discovered by the crew, but then yeah. we have to find another place to park. And we're in Austin. And we're also in this, like, Austin's such a weird place. Like, the two houses side by side, beautiful, new. Um, it's meant for this, like yes. to Airbnb kind of like things. Everything else is like Slumsville. Yes. Like yeah. complete, like dogs barking. You know, I mean, like when you're walking by and gang activity, drugs are being sold. Like, liter- like they kept saying, like, don't interact with the drug dealers. <laughs> <laughs> 
if you see them, you know, don't so, make eye contact. So then, when yeah. we needed a new parking place, we had to pay off drug dealers in order to park in this other parking right. spot. It's, it's my like turf. The cr- baby graveyard is my turf. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I want to go back to that for a second because I've never heard of a baby graveyard. Like it was. I think it's so dark that maybe you don't want to know about it. Yeah, I think I'm assuming it, it's like Catholic. Like, you know it where might be teenage indigenous girl people or something. Or something. Yeah. 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 something Still weird. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, Lady Journey. Say. <laughs> but anyway, that's what we we were calling the show at one point, Baby Graveyard. <laughs> Netflix said no. Oh, oh, no that, that's the show I want to see. Yeah. Well, I remember I watched a TikTok. Some guy secretly shot the... Um, the like room and Walmart where all the employees hang out to yeah, eat. Yeah. And oh, I that's fun. was like, I could just watch this show every day. Right. Yeah. It right. was so funny, but it goes to like when you're trying to make it something, I'm like, just let them rip right, and right, be themselves. Right, like, right. Yeah. And, and I'd be like, we're keeping it. We're yeah. keeping everything. You I, have no say. I would love to watch a reality show of just the Walmart employee yes. hanging out room right yeah. yeah but the minute you put a camera up it changes i feel different when there's a camera oh, up. Oh my, like right. i've done like, a few Hi. yeah hello you're just so aware of it like anytime like sometimes like if mindy tucker comes to the hang then all of a sudden i'm like preening yeah or right, making right, sure right. that i'm okay no bad angles. Right. Fixing yeah. her, yeah. She's good at finding them. Yeah. You can't hide them. You can't hide your bad angle from Mindy. She's got that light. <laughs> she, she knows. She'll shine it right on there. Like, um, she could, she could uh, um, what do you call it? She could get all of us to do whatever we want. With this. Yes. Do you yeah. want me to show people this? <laughs> yeah, a little blackmail. Oh, well, they, no. they do a lot of comedy photographers. Sometimes do like, oh, here's our, uh, here's what I shot last night. You I don't go look through at and I'm like this. This, you're, this is awful. Yeah, why, why? am I 500 pounds in every photo yeah. and Mark Norman looks like the hottest person? <laughs> yeah. It's because yeah. they love those people. They're like this to you and I. Like, like, yeah. But yeah. to Mark Norman, they're like. <laughs> <laughs> He's a genius. He's <laughs> Sam Morell, every fucking angle. Just chiseled. I know, I'm always like this. But yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I'm like, don't get the act outs. Don't, I'm like, I don't get the act outs. But also, the, sometimes clubs will post a picture of you to promote the show, and it's like, well, I can't promote the show now. No, yeah, thank you. you yeah, cho- you've just Sorry. chosen a picture where I look 900 years old yeah, this- and like pregnant somehow at the same time. Yeah. Like, right. I'm also like, I think you went on the fifth page of Google for yes. this one. Yeah, I know. Do I know. the first From 2011. Yeah, yeah. I, know. And then I know. It's like. <laughs> It feels like a personal attack. I agree. Sometimes. Yeah. With the photos that people use for shows that you're like, can you consult a little bit beforehand? Well, I guess part of it's me too, because they're like, do you have a picture you want to use? And I'm like, always never answering. I can't be bothered with this. (laughs) So then I'm like, how (laughs) dare you? (laughs) I'm running a multi million dollar corporation (laughs) with my podcast. No, Bonnie, I want to talk to you about um, vegan lifestyle. Oh, okay. we love it. I love, I love, uh, I'm not a vegan, but I do feel like but vegan, we get it. We get it. <laughs> you get it. And I you're on the food. right side of history. Well, th- this is the thing, though, that I feel a little bit like a fake because I've always been grossed out by meat. Oh, I've just always okay. never liked it. And I've been a vegetarian, vegan my whole life, except when I was pregnant. I fucking ate meat like a motherfucker. Yeah, did Whoa. you? And you liked it? Did you? Crave I don't it? know. It's so weird. It was like that part of my brain got taken out, right? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. it was like it was like I was sort of a different person sometimes when I was pregnant because I think you're getting different hormones. Yeah, which makes you like I remember not being nervous about going on stage. Okay, and I remember thinking like. Oh, I hope this like continues. Right, like yeah. I don't have this like pre-show. So I used to get nervous all day. Oh, oh I yeah, still do. I get weirdly if I have a show that night from like two oh, yeah, p.m. on uh, onwards. Yes, I'm right. like, Ugh. Ugh. I'm doing the countdown like, in my why? head. Yeah, it's but awful. I don't anymore. I don't. I don't have that anymore. Not because of the pregnancy thing, but I just did. <laughs> <laughs> Self hypnosis, but oh. it did work. It did work. That's it did work. Cool. I had really bad social anxiety, and I did. Well, I had someone do the hypnosis for me, and then they give you a tape, and then you play it. And you're wait. Oh, nice. This is cool. Who, yeah. who would you go to? Somebody in the city, just like in town? No, it was on Zoom. Um, Mary Lou Rodriguez. She's really good. Okay. Oh, I want to get it. I was I'd rather do that because that's what I'm going for therapy for. 
Oh, we think this it's my is mom. Like, this <laughs> is like this yeah. is like therapy. You know, times a thousand. Okay, so okay, this is like therapy on acid. <laughs> <laughs> no, so what she does is so. Um, I think I had five. I bought okay. five in the beginning. So you have a Zoom call with her. It takes about an hour and a half, and you go over what's the issue. Yes. You know, and she digs in a way that is so wild. It's like she finds out where it all stems from, where okay. it starts, wow. and stuff. Um, is it your mom? It's always, it's your, always mom. your mom. Yeah. It's always your mom. Just go straight to your yeah, mom. I think your it's mom's like, a bitch. Yeah. If Surprise. you have a problem with your dad, you go into stripping. If you have a problem with your mom, it's a stand up yeah. situation. <laughs> um, no, so it's, yeah, it's just like this, like, feel it, like this not being good enough kind of low level anxiety that you just have all the time. And then she figures that out somehow, you know, whatever. And then um, she makes you a hypnosis tape for it. And My then God. you use that. You're supposed to do it twice a day. I only ever did it once a day. And um, I was like, eh, I don't know if it's working. And then one day I was just talking to people and I was like, Oh my God! Yeah. It worked. Like I don't have that thing. Yeah, you weren't getting like anxious. Whoa. I'm so right. Yeah, I'm right. Sold. right. Mary right. Lou, I'm I'm Mary gonna find Lou. you. Yeah, we're gonna tag you. Um, <laughs> yeah, we I, gotta get her on here to I, hypnotize. I didn't, I didn't talk about yeah. it for a long time because I was like, <laughs> eh, it's so woo woo and weird. And... I know. I get skeptical about stuff like that, but if I feel like if anything works, it works. Like I'm totally I, for my friend broke up with a guy because of a psychic, and I was the right decision for her, and I was. After that, I was like, go wherever you need to go right. yeah. to get, if it gives you help. Oh yeah. my God. Wait, what happened? Oh, she went to a psychic and um, was basically like, will I be with this guy? And the psychic basically said no. And obviously, if you ask that question, but I just feel like you get to talk about it right, with the person. Right, and right, then right. even if it's three of cups stuff or whatever, yes. the swords is, I just feel like it just reiterates like you shouldn't be with. This person. You get the confirmation. You right, get the right, confirmation right, that right, yeah. you need. Yeah. You, you like it's all about setting an intention, and however you get there to, to set the intention. It. Yes. Yeah. So yes. immediately she broke up with him, and I felt like he was a drug addict, basically. <laughs> right. 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 So it was yeah. all good. Yeah. But I, I, yeah, I'm with you. Like I'm skeptical it. of hypnosis, but I did read the Easy Ways to Quit Smoking by Alan Carr, and I feel like he keeps doing like you don't really like this you're not enjoying well, I quit it smoking by self-hypnosis too Ooh, and so this worked. is going back so far i read a i was at this guy's house and i just was reading all his books and one of the books was a self-hypnosis book and i just read it and then that night i did it and then went and did a set and it, my set worked really well and i was yeah. like this works holy yeah. shit and so then i decided to use it to quit smoking which it did it, yeah it it works. It like, changes your mindset. I'm I believe so on board by with like it. keep on because it's basically just repetit. Like people think hypnosis is something. I don't know how hypnosis works when people do it as a show on stage, but it's just repetition, and you it's you've been programmed to have beliefs that you don't even know that you have. Right. And so it's really hard to change your beliefs because it's not in your it's in your subconscious. So that's where the hypnosis is going back into your subconscious to either form new pathways yeah. of belief or changing the old beliefs, which is hard to do. And it's just through repetition they do it because that's how you got it was through right, repetition. Through repetition. Right. So that's how you get rid of it Ugh. is through repetition. And I, then, yeah, something about like right before you sleep, like that time where you just yeah, you're lucid. You're in the, the your you're brain in waves very, are like, in like a certain. Yeah, you're in a yeah. place where you can really accept it. You know, yeah. I'm so or when into... you're driving, that's also good. I hypnotize myself when I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> Don't crash. That's how that's how you learn to drive. <laughs> No, it's all about stand up. Like I don't care about like relationships and stuff. I'm like, especially like psychics or like I've only been to two psychics or something. But I was like, never wanted to know about my relationships. Oh, I'm like, cares? I don't care about yeah. that. Like, yeah, you're like, I can figure that that part, part out. I'll right. get cock if I need yeah, it. I can always break up with that. But <laughs> yes. I want this to keep working. Yes. Yeah. Like, it's all about like, yeah. How can I get farther along in my career? <laughs> I'm so on board with it. I feel like anytime I hear something magical and a success story, I'm like, I'm doing it. Yeah, uh, here I go. Right. I'm I'm on the yeah, path. That's my new thing. Yeah. I um I was doing a 
type of self hypnosis that I found during the pandemic called trigram healing. I was just listening to the guy's voice. He, he's weird. Don't look at his picture if you listen to it. Just it's on YouTube, um, <laughs> where we also are. Like and subscribe, follow. But um, he said in the in the videos that you part of it is like lulling yourself into the relaxed state where you're like you can perceive messages that can go into your yes, subconscious. Right, right. And I do feel like it helped me, but I haven't been doing it. But now right. I'm I'm, I'm going to contact Mary Lou. Yeah, can't wait. Right. I, I can't wait to achieve my right, dreams. Because that, she, it's very specific yeah. to you. Yeah. So then I did five of them. So then at some point, you're like, okay, that one's done. Now yeah, what are we? Thing. And it's like, yes. And it really did change things in my life I mean, it's weird it's oh, weird I'm oh my open. god I feel I like I just got hypnotized but I'm like I'm I'm ready yeah <laughs> <laughs> now yeah. back to the veganism though so tell me tell us like what's your how do you have a snack how like, do you maneuver what's your on the comfort? road I feel what's like it's comfort? really hard to do yeah. those kind of diets road well, comfort the road or well, any kind of it's gotten harder recently because I this is such a fucking boring story, but I got psoriasis <laughs> and then I couldn't get, I couldn't um, cure it. So then I had to go on this new diet, which is even like an anti-inflammatory. Yes, yeah. and it's oh. alkaline and as acid forming and stuff. But it is working, as you can see. Do you yeah. Yeah. I always find away. going into the ocean helps because I'll get like salt psoriasis water, or, yeah. sun, or sun. Yeah, it works sun. for a while. But the problem is, is it's something inside of you. So it's like you have toxins in you that it's are trying to get autoimmune, out. right? Yeah. yeah. So oh any autoimmune gosh. system is toxins trying to escape your body. Even tumors. <laughs> I, I mean, I've gone down the rabbit hole on this. Wow. Right. right. So I'm on this diet, which is like, basically, I just eat microplastics and um, <laughs> mm, hot dogs. <laughs> it's yeah. so no, it's like no gluten, no, um, you know, I'm already vegan. So that's takes care of all of that. And yeah. uh, like certain vegetables, even I can't have like to make any like the night nightshades. The nightshades. No, I love the nightshades. I know, I know. I'm that's a big tater gal. That's the hardest. Yeah. And then um, I don't even know what a nightshade is, but I like that as a terminology. I know it's so weird. <laughs> You're like, why do you well, get called nightshade? Yeah. You'll only know about nightshade if you have psoriasis. Right, it's the only <laughs> way you'll find out. Um, but anyway, I was at the grocery store and I was buying like all organic stuff, and I was like, this is so expensive. But then I was like, well, I'll never eat in a restaurant again. So yeah. True. this yeah. is like save on medical bills. Yes, maybe. It must be fun at least to go to a restaurant. Like, I'd love to have that. But I can't. Yeah. Well, I would. Taking out your laminated list. <laughs> yes. Hi, for me, the chef. Let me look. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, um, well, it's weird because I was a pretty strict vegan. And then two years ago, I go, I'm not going to be crazy anymore. I'm not going to be insane. Like, I yeah, used to, right. like, if pasta had an egg in it or something. Like, but then I was like, I'll just eat a cracker and I won't look at the ingredients. And then that's when I got psoriasis. Yeah. Yeah. So it, I, I don't know diets if I, are they hard though. To do. But what we so, did, we're talking to all comics, and we all have eating disorders. Yes, yes. yes. we all right. do. Well, I think oh, Rich is so so crazy. Every you talk to a lot of male comics, they're just not eating. Well, uh, yeah, they're they're like, not? just tons of meat. Yeah, oh, vegan, right. That's vegan is like <laughs> vegan gets such a bad rap because people be like, "Oh, vegan, like, like you think you're better than everybody," right, right. but it's like, meanwhile, you're over here eating a ball of mozzarella, like <laughs> yeah, it's right. a, that's your yeah. diet. Like, <laughs> yeah, I just have bacon. I just have bacon, and well, then that's the it. The thing <laughs> is, I think like the the vegan and the extreme meat thing is the same diet basically, which is you're taking out processed food yeah right and that's right. what's giving you yes anything yeah, yeah. that's i would joke about <laughs> that yummies. like I, if i put it in my mouth and it tastes good i spit it out <laughs> right and that's yeah. what, that'll kill you um <laughs> but it is but it is that's the thing that it that's the same in both things yes. is that you can't have processed food and that's why you're autoimmune disorders clear up and stuff for a yeah. lot of people oh do you have any like snackies that you like still or you're just well, like I, of course i'm bad what sometimes can you have? i have what like can you have um you know seaweed snacks oh, or bad girl. Uh, yeah, uh, cashews i've oh. eaten a whole handful of cashews <laughs> in one sitting it's crazy. um rich made me a fruit salad the other night that oh. was literally 
the most delicious thing I've ever fruit had in my whole season. life. Fruit season. Fruit season. I love it. And he, you know, I think women would make a small thing of fruit salad. Right. This was like more than you should have for Family of Five. I ate the whole thing. It of was course. like Ugh. and we he had these two big pasta bowls for both of us <laughs> with fruit salad. Oh, like, that's so nice. I love to think about Rich cutting up fruit. Oh, yeah. Slicing it. He's like, you How know. do I do cherries? <laughs> I find mangoes to be the hardest to cut up. Yeah. And it's oh. infuriating. And then you leave you have so to, much it's a on. guessing game. You have to suck it and yeah. it gets caught in your teeth. Yeah. yeah. But I've been loving cherry season. It's oh, almost so I feel like it's good. almost over. I'm just eating the last inflammatory. Go crazy. Oh. Alkaline. They're Ooh. mine. Yeah. yeah. I bought grapes. They were nine dollars. Oh grapes no. Like, Sometimes I grapes put grapes will grapes back. Ya. Right. <laughs> I just will run you. Yeah. It's so yeah. embarrassing when you're at the grocery store and you're like, uh no. This didn't yeah. feel like four <laughs> pounds. <laughs> yeah. I bought a melon. I was buying a melon and it was like five dollars. And it's like honeydew. It's like Honeydew That's, is like the peanuts. Yes, they should be paying five dollars yeah. for a honeydew. Just yeah. ethically, you're like, I'm not spending that much money on it's water. Yeah. Yes, give me the hot dog. Yeah, just give me the hot dog. <laughs> so, I, so I, I was thinking they should just have like a place where you just put your grapes and your melons back. Right. When you, when you like, <laughs> oh, the, so yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> like at the dressing room where you're yes. like, no, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was talking, I feel like grocery stores should have, it's called the inflation section. Right. And anytime the food spikes <laughs> yeah. in price, right. just put it in a pile so we right. know to right. avoid right. that. Because right. right. I go to the grocery store and you're, I'm just thinking it's the dollar store. Right, right. Generally, everything's pretty oh, inexpensive I in there. I go to the grocery store like I'm a millionaire until I until I get to the cash yeah. register, I'm like, oh my goodness. Almond butter is $15. Yeah. Oh I'm my like, God. Oh, I know, but I do the thing with myself where I'm like, you deserve it. Yeah. You deserve you it. it. Until it's all added up. Yeah. You're like, big deal. $15. Who yeah. cares? But that's good for you. It's yeah, that like, yeah. it's like $180 for one bag of but that is for like, stuff you can yeah. carry out in your yeah. hands. <laughs> but that is like, you were right though. Eating out at a restaurant is so much more expensive. And you throw that away. You're like, oh, right. well, right. whatever. Right. Yeah. So you might as well. Now, are you? I I've read your book. Oh, thanks. yes, uh, it's very good. <laughs> it is well because I was telling Katie there was a time period where a lot of comics had memoirs, and I I said yours isn't the top. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yes. I thought it was very well written. Who's the other? The no, <laughs> I will say I thought Amy Poehler's. She kept on saying, I don't really want to write this book. I don't really want to write this book. Oh, I've God. got Seth Meyers to write it. I did take some little key bits of knowledge out from it but as a cohesive book I was like oh she just doesn't want to write this book yeah Yeah, Yeah, then don't I know I like you can't be cool writing a book like you gotta be like I want to write the book yeah Yeah. and it's hard I think it's I admire anybody that writes a book even from a memoir because like yeah, that's hard. A, well, when yeah. I was writing the, the memoir, I was like, I wish I was writing a novel. Like it'd be so nice just to make all this up. Oh like, yeah. yeah, I was like fantasizing about like, <laughs> no, those people that could just put anything they want down. Yeah, yeah. it's hard because like, how did you, when you were writing it, um, how did you piece it together? Was it like I'm going to give advice? Or you, these are just like the points of my life that well, were. Well, it was Anthony Bourdain yes. who told me to write like he was the publisher, and then um, he said, "Just I said, should it be like essays?" And he said, "No, just write your life. Just start right. at the beginning, and write your life." And then they told me to like stop um, after I got married to Rich, and they said, <laughs> "Because they, <laughs> no, that's it. We don't need to hear more about him." That's fine. <laughs> no, because they were like. They're smart, you know. They're thinking like, if it does well, you'll have a part two. Right, oh. right, yeah. But uh, uh, I did do that. Well, I'm still, yeah, trying to. Well, <laughs> you're still living. You're thing. still living. <laughs> it could come out at any time. Everyone has to self-publish these days. When you write a book, they're like, it feels like you have to self-publish first, and then they see where. Right, you're I know. It's like put it on Amazon and then get famous on TikTok for right. being the guy that right. eats cat litter right. and see if people will buy your book. But I did read that you're a baker. Are you still baking cinnamon rolls? Oh, that in the in the book I yeah. did. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't. No. I don't really bake anymore. Okay. <laughs> Not cinnamon now rolls. She's like, I can't free. eat. Yeah, I can't eat cinnamon. Vegan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like the worst. Cinnamon's very in inflammatory. Yeah. 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 <laughs> My friend came over the other day and she brought baking, and I was like, oh. Thank you. You're just putting it yeah. in the trash. Yes. Yeah. I just I'm had that right recently. Here. I forgot yeah. my friend's girlfriend is vegan and I made a pie and I was all excited and then I brought it over and she couldn't indulge in it. 
And I took uh, it home. Yeah. Well, it's so <laughs> Which feels like bad because etiquette. It's so sad to bring yeah. your own pie back. I never get asked to bring anything to like Thanksgiving or <laughs> Christmas or whatever. Yeah, and what are you Bonnie's doing? Bonnie's got the those? raisins. Yeah. <laughs> but I, last Thanksgiving, they're so, they're constantly bringing up like, I mean, Thanksgiving and Christmas is a hard time because it's like, it's like a very meat based yeah. thing. Right. Yeah. But good side like, dishes, though. It's, yeah. it's Rich's. It's usually at Rich's um, second oldest daughter's house, and their her uh, parents in law and his ex wife and her, her husband. It's like all these people mm-hmm. that hate vegans, as it turns yeah, out. Right. And um, I made last time I made an Israeli salad. You know, it's like tomato, cucumber. I was still yeah. eating nightshades back then. <laughs> and, oh, those um, were the days. <laughs> people wouldn't eat it because no. it was vegan, and it was like you've eaten vegan things Just before. Right. Salad is vegan. I hate to tell you that. <laughs> yeah, right. Tell them it's got chicken broth in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it was like it's lightly like, drenched oh, in chicken broth. They just yeah. immediately like there's a TikTok where somebody goes like. Hey, hey, you want an apple? And the guy's eating an apple. He goes, it's vegan. He goes, ah! And he yeah. throws it out. It's <laughs> yeah. like, I feel yeah. that. It's like, yeah, yeah. there's some, um, you have, it's racism. It's, it's vegan. It's what's it's happening vegan to you. Yeah. I, yeah. Like. yeah. I always feel excited when I accidentally eat vegan, where I'm yeah, like, so oh, I did my legumes. <laughs> and then I'm like, yes. oh, look at me. <laughs> right. Achieving my dreams. Right. Well, yeah, I did, I made chia pudding the other day, and I used oh. maple syrup, and I was like, <gasps> oh, and it's actually better yeah. with maple syrup. I love a little maple. Yeah. Maple syrup is the only sweetener that has nutrients for you. I didn't know that. Yeah. I wanted to oh. use honey, but I'm feeding my baby with it, and apparently it has botulism. Yeah, I can't give it to infants. Or, yeah, you what? Can't, yeah. You can't give honey. I thought it was because of that. the consistency, like, you know, like you can't right, right. peanut butter, like right, it's hard right. to, but no, it was botulism. Isn't that wild? Yeah. Wait, I thought honey was like the purest food on the planet with nothing ever wrong with yeah, it. Yeah, that it cures everything. everything yeah. yeah. Right, right. No, it can kill. It can. Oh, <laughs> deadly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> These I don't... fucking babies. I Jesus. know. So sensitive. <laughs> God. Um, but it's actually time for us to wrap up. But okay. can we, you tell everybody where they can find your stuff? Instagram, Bonnie McFarlane. I guess that's, so, that's the only social media that I yeah. do. That's you good. only need one. That's yeah. the only legitimate one. That's what I, I used industry Twitter, only cares about. I don't like saying yeah. X. Yeah, yeah. I don't like saying I X. I think he's going to change it back. He had I done a survey that. saying, should I go back to Twitter? And you're like, yeah, because that's what we all call it anyway. Because right. it just, just wants be attention. Like, he just wants attention. Right. <laughs> it's weird. We're done, we're done with your surveys. <laughs> <laughs> he did another survey saying, should I step down? And it's like, yeah, then he didn't. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm just, not listening to these. Stop I'm the trap. Like, yeah. he, he suppresses you if you say no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Anyway, please like and subscribe, everybody. Share. And follow us. Share. And come to our show. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Lady Journey. Lady Journey. Lady Journey.